My mother used to say anything that saves you time is worth learning and it's absolutely true because we have very busy lives these days. We've got to go to work, take the kids to and from school, we've got to do shopping, we've got to do all those after school activities and when you get home the last thing you want to do is spend two hours in the kitchen cooking dinner from scratch. Sometimes you just want to chuck everything into one single pot and let it cook itself and today that's what we're doing. We're just going to do one pot on the stove and it's going to be fabulous. Let's make this beautiful cheesy beef and bacon pasta all cooked in one pot on the One Pot Chef. We're going to be cooking this all in one pot today so you can use a large pot or a large deep fry pan that's what I'm using today. So first things first we've got it over a medium to high heat we're going to add in some bacon I've got six strips of bacon which I've just chopped up and I'm using this beautiful hickory smoked bacon today it's got this wonderful almost barbecue sauce sort of flavor and aroma to it it's absolutely gorgeous and to that I'm going to add in one small onion either a yellow or brown onion which I've just chopped up and I'm also adding in a little bit of garlic too a couple of cloves about two teaspoons worth and we're just going to stir that around for one to two minutes or until the onions start to soften and the bacon starts to get a bit of colour. Next I'm adding in our beef. I'm putting in 500 grams or about a pound roughly of beef mince and I'm using a relatively lean mince today. The reason I'm going for the leaner mince is because I don't want too much grease at the end of the dish. I would prefer this to be a bit less greasy but if you've only got regular hamburger mince you can just brown that as I'm doing here and then simply tip off the excess grease but go for the leaner option if possible and while that's starting to brown I'm going to add in a good squirt of tomato sauce or ketchup a good splash of Worcestershire sauce I'm not measuring I'm going to say about a tablespoon two tablespoons roughly and I'm also going to put in a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and we're just going to cook that stirring around breaking up the beef as we go for about four to five minutes or until the meat is browned and cooked the meat is brown so we're going to add in our beef stock I'm putting in four cups or about one litre of liquid beef stock I'm just going to pour that straight in give that a gentle stir and we're just going to bring this to the boil now the mixture's come to the boil we are ready to put in our pasta now you can use any sort of pasta you like I recommend using a short pasta like penne or little spirals or macaroni or something like that I'm going for little spirals for Sealy and I'm putting in a 500 gram box just pour that straight in and we're just going to gently stir that so all of the pasta is submerged or at the very least covered and all that's left to do is to pop on the lid and we're going to reduce the temperature down to low just so it's simmering gently and we're going to let this simmer for 20 minutes or until the pasta is cooked all the way through and the liquid has reduced if after 20 minutes you find that some of your pasta isn't cooked don't panic just give it a quick stir around put the lid back on and allow it to simmer for another five minutes or so well it's been 20 minutes so let's take a look Ooh, wow this smells amazing already now we've got to make this cheesy so what we're going to do is we're going to add in three cups of grated cheese I'm just using regular cheddar cheese today but you could use any cheese you like and I'm also adding in a little bit of milk just to help make this a bit of a cheesy sauce about half a cup of milk and we're just going to stir this through until the cheese has melted into the sauce and that's all there is to it cheesy beef and bacon pasta cooked all in one pot 
so simple to do, minimal prep work, minimal cleanup afterwards. You're gonna love this. Mm -mm -mm. God, you have no idea how amazing this smells. I cannot wait to have a taste of this. <sighs> mm. Oh my God. <laughs> mm. It says everything that's on the can. It's cheesy, it's beefy, it's bacony. The pasta is beautiful and tender. You got this wonderful, almost creamy, savory sauce all through it from the cheese and from the milk and from the stock. It's a wonderful combination of flavors. Serve this with a side salad or some mixed vegetables on the side and you've got a complete meal the whole family will adore. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later. Great thing about this recipe is you can adapt it to make all sorts of different kinds of dishes. Instead of adding the cheese at the end, you could replace that with some tomato pasta sauce, add in a jar of that, stir that through, and you've got bolognese pasta done in one pot. You could also change up the flavors by adding different spices. You could add some red kidney beans, you could add some chili, and you've got beef, chili, and pasta. There's so many different options. Give it a try. Let me know in the comments section what kind of thing you're gonna to do to it. I hope you absolutely love this recipe. Thanks for staying patient while I've been a bit ill recently. I'm hoping to get a bit more sort of back on track with making videos from now on, but as I say, it's a long road, but I'm getting there. Thanks for your patience and lots of love to you all.